traders. Before looking for any other indicator, why don't you try this first because as per your expectation, this works on real time, it does not repaint and it's very accurate. If I was to recommend a working indicator to any Forex trader, I can basically mention this indicator. So traders I am talking about volume profiles. So, in this video, we're going to be discussing volume profiles and how you can use them to make higher probability trades. So here we have Bitcoin on the 5 minute time frame, and we're going to go to the indicator tab and type in volume profile. And you're going to see a bunch of them here. And today we're going to be mainly looking at session volume profile as well as visible range volume profile. So the first one we're going to be looking at is session volume profile. So if we click on this, it's going to pop up right here. So let's break it down. What is this red line? It is point of control. This is where most of the volume on the day has occurred. So if you take a look at this histogram, you'll notice these bars, these blue lines indicate buying pressure. These yellow lines indicate selling pressure. And you have a combination of both at these levels. So right here you'll notice this bar is the biggest. This is just volume, both buys and sells. So volume profiles, where we have point of control, they almost act as magnets for price. So a lot of times you'll see price either go back down to test this level, like what we saw here, but you'll also see price go up and test these levels as well. So when it comes to volume profiles, a lot of traders like to use point of control as resistance as well as support. Depending on whether or not it's above this red line, it would act as support, but it can also act as resistance when it's below this red level. One more thing here, you'll notice this is a little bit highlighted, more so than this bottom level here. And this top level here, this is just called the value area. And all the value area is, is where 70% of the day's volume has occurred. So anything below this level is about 15% of this volume. And this is about 15%. And a majority of this volume on the day, 70% has occurred, where this is a lot more clear to see. So let's now go and actually change some of the settings on this indicator. So go to the settings cogwheel here and you'll notice we have a bunch of different stuff. So we're going to first start off with inputs for session volume profile. You'll notice the value area. That was what we were just talking about, how we had value area, which is 70% of the volume. We also have the row size and we're actually going to change this. So you'll notice for all of the volume on the day we actually have 24 of these bars, but we actually want to see a little bit more. So I'm going to increase this to 100 and when we click OK, you'll notice immediately it's going to change. So here we have a lot more bars and all this is doing is dividing those previous 24 bars into more sections to give us a better visualization as to where the volume actually is. So not only do we use point of control, this red line here, as support and resistance, but we can also use these volume levels as support and resistance as well. So if we're to zoom in a little bit here and take a look, where do you think potentially we could find, let's say price were to continue to go down from this level where we are currently. Based on looking at this histogram here on the side, you'll notice a few key areas. Right here there was a lot of volume conducted. Right here one could argue there's some volume conduct, and if we're to take a look down even further for the value area low, maybe even right here, you could argue there's a little bit of volume coming in. So those are some areas where you could potentially see reversals or little bounces. Also take into consideration market structure. We also like to use supply and demand zones as well as your basic support and resistance levels. So now that you have a basic understanding of how to use session volume profile for day trading, we're now going to discuss visible range volume profile. What we're going to do is go to the settings cogwheel here and we're going to go to style. And from here placement, we're going to change it to the left side so it's easily visible. Now, when it comes to visible range volume profile, it is just that anything that is showing on your chart with regards to price, these candles here, it is going to take into consideration when calculating the volume profile. So we're currently on the daily time frame. If I were to zoom out a ton here, it's going to change based on how much we can see on the chart. 
Now, we're not going to go that far back, of course, we're going to just be using the past month and a bit or so for this. So why do we now actually change some of these settings? Because you'll notice we only have 24 bars here on the side and it's really not giving us much indication as to where support and resistance levels actually are beyond just the point of control, which of course is useful. So we're going to be going to this settings cogwheel here and similarly how what we changed the row size with session volume profile. We're also going to be changing this as well with visible range volume profile. So I'm going to be changing this to 500. I really like to see a lot of bars so I can easily identify support and resistance levels even on these bigger time frames. So we're to take a look right now at Bitcoin with our visible range volume profile. You'll notice based on the price where we are right now, there's a little bit thin here with regards to volume where we are right now. So based on volume profile, I would expect price to probably continue to trend on downwards until we eventually hit this area here where we did in fact see a lot of volume conducted. So I would use this level here, right around the 19.4 level as a support level where we could potentially see a bounce. Now, when it comes to seeing reversals, we would of course look the exact opposite. Where is a lot of volume conducted on the daily if price were to in fact go down to this 19.3 level? Well, looking at it right now, this looks like a pretty juicy area, right around the 20,000 level. And from there, if we could manage to break through, that pretty much leads us right back up to point of control. As you'll notice, volume is quite thin here. So I wouldn't be shocked if we managed to break above this level to go back up and test point of control. And when it comes to entering a short position, if you're looking for really big swing trades, this would be a great opportunity to see a retest of point of control before another eventual move downwards. In addition to using other in indicators, supply and demand, basic support and resistance, you'll notice we had plenty of wick tests here and we couldn't manage to break through. So it only makes sense for price to go back up to this range before it could potentially see a reversal to the downside. This brings us to the end of this video, do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Bye guys I will see you in my next video. Listen traders, before you make any big mistake, like paying for that expensive course. Try reading this book first. This is basically what you are going to be taught by your mentor. In fact, not even everything. If you are a beginner and you have learnt only basics, don't dare funding your Forex account because you will not like the results. This book will introduce you to another side of Forex trading because you cannot like forever buy at support and sell at resistance. This book comprises of everything you need to know about smart money concepts and price action and everything is explained simply. Grab your copy at $10 only and it will save you from a lot rather than paying for those so-called Forex mentorship. You can make payments via PayPal, Binance USDT, M-Pesa and SendWave. Look for payment details on the description of this video. Send your receipt and you will get your copy. First come first serve.